So we will talk about something different in this case. We have two phones available right now. One is a parent device. Second one is a kids device, you can say. So I can control one device from the other device very easily. As you just noticed, I can increase the brightness. I can simply put the phone into silent mode, into vibrate mode, or I can do most, most of the things very easily. And this is just one of the best things which you can do with your device. You just need two apps and this is one of the best parental control app out there. What other function this app, this app offers? We have some device utilities, screen snapshot, and some other options available. For example, if I want to take screenshot on the other device, if I click here, it will take a few seconds and then the screenshot will be taken on the kid's device and they don't even notice by the way. We had a just pop up at the status bar, but that was quite common. But that screenshot is available in my parent device very easily and I can see that later on. I'll show you. I'll show you later on. But for now, we have some other options. For example, if I want to show some message here, as you can see, we have show message option available. If I click on OK, you will see instant message available on the kid's device. The left side in my device, which is on left side is a kids device and the right side the device which i'm using is is labeled as a parent device from where i can i can connect i am using the things on the other device and this is just outstanding thing you just noticed i can do many more things i can even locate the phone it will simply beep not only beep it will be the beep will be a very very loud sound so most of the people will actually hear it from anywhere else so that's quite good we have some other options available. We just, you just noticed here, uh, if I click the photo from the back camera, from the rear camera, it just took that photo, but they don't even know that. But that photo is already available on my parent device. How I can open this, if I click on there, which I will not be able to show you right now, but it will be uploaded to your Google Drive as soon as possible. This is just so good. We have other utilities which you can connect. For example, as I just told you, like sound controls have the option for other utilities. I can even access the phone's gallery, all the images, all the videos, and this is just so good. You can import any photo from there. You can view that. And yes, that's just outstanding. You can see the, the number of that brightness, that battery bar, some Wi-Fi things. The app is connected to Wi-Fi. Also, all the internal storage files and many more things. This is just outstanding. And all the things are quite simple, quite easy to set up in the end. I'll show you how you can set it up on your device, but make sure to watch this video till the end. Any file, you can access that. This is just so good. You also have the option for some outstanding things, which might be quite risky for some of the users. For example, you have that limit set. And at the bottom, I have the option named as, let me show you, we have some options available here. Like we have the option for uh, do, to disable everything which someone is doing on this device. So I can simply disable the device so no one will be able to use that. They will not be able to uninstall that app. They will not be able to use that app on anywhere else and so on. One more thing which I missed actually was social media related. WhatsApp, Instagram, Snapchat, you can access all these things. In my case, I'm not able to show you because the other device, which is a kid's device, does not have WhatsApp enabled, but you can access the chats and so on. Also, you can locate your device wherever it is. You can ring that. And yes, this is just so good. Quite tremendous. If you missed it, if you didn't know about that in this video, I'm just showing you all the things. So how to set it up? For the first time, this is the process. You have to install this app. The link is in the description. You can find it very easily from 189.in slash kids. I'll provide you the link in the description for that. So download that on the kids and uh, the main app on the parents app on the parents device, basically. After that, open the thing. Uh, one more thing, which is actually quite necessary uh, for the latest version, of course, uh, that is make sure you have Shizuku available because if you want to set it up, that will be quite easy for you if you have Shizuku set up already. I made a video already and that is one of my most viewed video on YouTube. How you can find out how you can set up Shizuku on any Android and that also supports Android 16. So no issues with that. Simply set up Shizuku on your device and nothing else you have to do. After that, open this app once again and then grant some required permissions. As you can see, basically Shizuku permission is required in this case and all the permissions will be granted automatically. So after doing all of these things on a device, for example, granting permission, sometimes if it is not working for you, some permissions you have to grant manually, for example, accessibility permission, but you can do that very easily. After that, at the bottom, you will see the app pair, pair code and that you have to fill in the parent's device. And after pairing, the app will be gone from the kid's device. So that will be no more accessible 
from the parent app i can control almost everything from that device the brightness control the sound control the device settings control and many more things and this is just so good one thing make sure if you want to uninstall the app from the kids device or even from the parent device make sure to unpair them make sure to uninstall the things because that might be risky for some of the users if if you if you want to access something in the future uh, this is just so good so make sure to check it out